What's going on guys? This is Ferox or Joey and you guys have probably seen a lot of neon layer style tutorials on YouTube but this is a lot more uh, subtle I guess than most of the uh, than the tutorials out there. You know this can be used for a lot of other things. You know you don't have to just use this to create a neon text effect. You can use this for background elements for all sorts of things. You know it's a, it's a lot more subtle and it's it's a lot more simple than most of the other tutorials as well. But uh, in my opinion, I think that's a good thing. This looks a lot nicer. It's a lot more clean looking, you know. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the page right now, this is an example of what we're going to be creating in this tutorial. Now, I'm just going to make this layer below it visible, and that just, I, I added this blur effect to it, which makes it look a lot more cool, I think. I just really like it. You know, it gives it some more depth to the to the text, I guess. Um, so yeah, so what, what you guys want to do, just create a new project. Um, just create a new project. Doesn't matter what size, as long as the background is a darker color. Because, ne uh, of course, neon colors only really show up on dark, darker backgrounds. So once you have, once you have your project here, uh, we're gonna go over to our text tool and just, just type in whatever we want. I'm just gonna type in neon, um, and the font I'm using is Pepsi Regular. Now, I just think this is a really cool font for this tutorial. So now what we're going to do, now we have our text here, I'll make sure you have the layer selected and go just turn the fill down to 0%. And you can do that here, or you can also do it on the layer style uh, menu. Now what we're going to do, we're going to double click on the layer, open the layer style menu. Now click on, now as you can see, because we lowered the fill down to 0%, you can't even see the you can't even see the text on the on the project. So, what you want to do is go to stroke, move that up to two. Doesn't re doesn't really matter like the thickness. You guys can change it around if you want. It's all personal preference. Now, the colors we're gonna do, we're gonna do a nice neon blue. So I already have the colors that I want to use. We're gonna use this blue for the uh, or sorry, this blue for the stroke. And it's 00E4FF if you want to know the color code. And there you have it. As you can see, it's a nice outline of the font that we have going on here. Now what I want you guys to click on is Outer Glow. And Outer Glow will give us a glow on the outside of the, of the stroke, of course. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, go to Opacity, turn that down to 50%. You don't really need to change much here. Um, the color we're go we're going to use a darker blue for the for that outer glow, and this color is zero zero A E F F. If you guys want to know the color code, um, and turn the size up to. Let's do size twelve. Mm, let's move it up to fifteen. Fifteen. You know, of course, these sizes all depend on the size of the project you're working on, the size of your text, or whatever element you're working you're working with, right? So they're all they're all dependent on whatever size, whatever size, like whatever, like how big or how small something is, right? So next, we're gonna do an inner glow. And the inner glow will be the same color as that dark blue that we were using. So the 00AEFF. And the size of the inner glow, we're going to make that a little bit smaller than the outer glow. So let's do 10. Mm, let's do 10. And make sure to turn the opacity down to 50%, just like the outer glow. Um, yeah, so. There you have your really simple neon text. You can click off your layer style menu, and there's your very simple neon ne neon style text that we have going on. Nothing too special, but it looks really nice. It's very clean looking. And you can do a lot more with this. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we have our layer selected and just type Command or Control J on your keyboard. And th what that does is, is it duplicates the layer and make sure you have that copy layer selected. Right click, convert to smart object, right click it again, and rasterize the layer. Drag that layer underneath. 
your neon layer. And what we're going to do with this copy layer, we're going to add that blur effect that I did before. So we're going to go up to filter, blur, motion blur. And with motion blur, you can change the angle of what where you want the blur. We're just going to do, we're just going to keep it horizontal at zero degrees, and the distance to 50 pixels. And then we're going to make select that layer again, and just turn the opacity down to 75 percent. And there you have it. There's your neon. There's your neon layer style. Uh, very, very simple, but it's very effective. Um, and I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this simple and subtle, I guess, because there's so much more you can do here. And I want and I encourage you guys to, you know, as you're following along this tutorial, just try different things. You know, click on things you never clicked on before, and you never know, you might create something really cool or something you've never known. That's how you really that's how you get to know Photoshop a lot more. You just it's just all trial and error. You know, you just you just try different things and you can come up with cool cool effects cool styles you know it's just that's that's just the great thing about Photoshop because you're not really limited as to what you can do now as for background elements this this tutorial is very helpful uh, for example let's just get rid of this neon text here and I've created these lines actually before this tutorial and they're just they're just straight diagonal lines but I added that same glow layer style to it that we created before I just it's just white and these can be used as background elements you know as something in the background like if you're creating a banner or a social media design or something you can create a pattern with these lines or any other shape in the background using this neon effect right and that can look really cool you know you can make them stand out make them you know like turn down the opacity make them look like they're just fading away or whatever you know this could look really cool there's just so much things you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you have any other tutorial suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments because I'm open to that and I read all the comments. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.